So let's go ahead and look at a review of the day. A beautiful shot from the Sandia Peak camera. We had some of those low level clouds from some moisture that moved in. I bet you could feel it this morning here in the metro. It felt a little bit muggy outside, and that's because we had those canyon winds move in. But talk about right on average for this time of year. 92 is what we hit today. That's our average high for July 1st. Looking at our average little temperature around 66, but we hit 67. Not complaining there either. It felt very nice this morning. Still watching maybe an isolated storm or two here from Roswell to Hobbs. So Hobbs, you got about another uh, hour or two of possible thunderstorms. But otherwise, we're not expecting severe storms like you saw earlier this evening. So I have added the canyon winds to our forecast for the rest of the night here in the metro. After about 11 o'clock, we could see those kick up to around 35 miles per hour. Our projected low temperatures look like this when you wake up in the morning. Looking at 40s for Taos, Grants, and Gallup. 46 when you wake up in the morning. 60s here in the metro, close to 60 to Santa Fe, will be close to 70 in the southeastern part of the state. And then the rest of your Sunday looks gorgeous out there if you have any plans to be out here in the city. But it's going to be a hot one again, so prepare for that. Make sure to drink lots of water and get some shade every once in a while. I'm sure it would feel very nice in the shade. Uh, looking at tomorrow afternoon, though, we're going to have a flood threat again for the Capkin and Hermit's Peak burn scar. We did have a flash flood warning for that earlier today. Thankfully, there was no uh, flooding reported with that. And then we have a chance of a couple of showers here for the southeastern part of the state. So let's time it out with high risk future cast. I'll stop this tomorrow morning. Not expecting much in the way of any kind of precipitation when you wake up. But as we get toward 2 p.m., we're going to stop this from the central mountain chain in points eastward. There's a pretty decent shot of a couple of thunderstorms tomorrow. Now, one or two of these could go rogue severe. So we're going to watch that very closely for you. But if you do have any plans from places like Tucumcari toward Roswell, Fort Sumner, Clovis, Hobbs, just prepare to maybe take those plans inside if you're going to be outside tomorrow afternoon. Now, as we get toward Monday, that moisture tries to ease a little bit further west toward the Sacramento Mountains. We're giving you an isolated shower and storm chance for your Monday, and those scattered showers and thunderstorms do remain a possibility for the North Mountains for your Monday. Here's your 4th of July forecast, expecting mainly dry conditions for the western part of the state. Now, we'll say models are trying to ease a little bit of moisture here into the Rio Grande Valley Tuesday afternoon, so we might have a pop-up thunderstorm possible, but it's really mainly going to be east of the Sandia and Monzano Mountains Tuesday afternoon here in the eastern plains of New Mexico. And as we get toward our Wednesday, that moisture stays locked in the eastern part of the state while the western part of the state bakes in heat and dry temperatures. And talking about heat, if you're headed out to Elephant Butte for your 4th of July, uh, I'm here to tell you it's going to be a hot one. Talking about 90s and triple digits all the way through the middle of the week. Let's look at your forecast tomorrow. Looking at Rui Doso, 81 with a couple of thunderstorms possible. 93 for Fort Sumner. Upper 90s for Roswell, but it only gets hotter from here. You're way back up into the triple digits by the time we're talking Tuesday and Wednesday, 102 to 105. Southwest tomorrow, looking at mostly sunny conditions. 80s and 90s and a couple of triple digits from Las Cruces, Deming, and Lordsburg, all hitting the triple digits tomorrow. Chinle, Arizona, you're looking at a high of 95 tomorrow. 92 for Cortez, Colorado, and mid-90s for Farmington as well. But you'll be close to the triple digits by the time we're talking Tuesday and not much in the way of much moisture either looking at mostly sunny conditions. The North Mountains have a, a chance of maybe an isolated or a scattered shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. 85 for Taos, 86 for Santa Fe, giving you about a 30% chance of seeing that thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. 91 for your 4th of July for your Tuesday with about a 10% shot of a sprinkle or two Tuesday afternoon. 80 for Moda, 83 for Las Vegas. We're going to be watching you very closely for that Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak burn scar. If any flooding develops with a thunderstorm there, we'll watch that very closely. For the East Mountains, highs in the upper 80s with those mostly sunny skies. And even here in the metro, a very nice Sunday ahead. If you have any plans, just make sure to take it easy because it's going to be a hot July day. 95 for Rio Rancho, about a 10% chance that it's not, you know, we could see a sprinkle or two tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, close to 100 Tuesday and Wednesday. And the 4th of July for Albuquerque is looking hot and sunny, a high around 99.